Tonight, we heard from Governor Henry McMaster in his sixth State of the State Address. Mary Green reports he unveiled some new proposals tonight, including a major restructuring of how South Carolina selects its judges. South Carolina is one of two states in which the General Assembly selects the members of the judiciary. It appears that the confidence in this arrangement is waning. Speaking to members of the General Assembly, Governor Henry McMaster says South Carolina should look to how the federal government picks its judges. Gubernatorial appointment of all judges with the advice and consent of the Senate requires no reinvention of the wheel, will inspire the confidence of our people, and will incur, encourage more excellent attorneys to seek public service. We should do that. The governor's proposal comes less than three weeks after the state Supreme Court struck down South Carolina's six week ban on abortion. Republican lawmakers and McMaster have decried it as the wrong decision. Therefore, I will be filing a petition for rehearing next week along with other state officials, and I remain optimistic that we will prevail in our historic fight to protect and defend the right to and the sanctity of life. In the Democratic response, Senator Ronnie Sab of Williamsburg County says state leaders should let voters decide South Carolina's limits on abortion. He encouraged them to invest more in public education, vote down school voucher legislation, and pass a hate crimes bill. And so let us march on until victory is won. Victory for every South Carolinian is simply to have a fair shot at success. McMaster also called for more support for education, saying it's one of the pillars on which South Carolina's future prosperity rests, and he wants the state to keep working to attract new companies and industries to South Carolina on the heels of a record-setting year for economic development. Today, we are presented with an opportunity to take bold, transformative actions that will build prosperity for generations to come. To strengthen public safety, McMaster called for lawmakers to pass legislation to keep illegal guns out of the hands of criminals and close what he called the revolving door that lets repeat offenders out on bond. He also entreated the General Assembly to pass a shield law, which could allow lethal injection to resume. Closing his hour-long address, McMaster encouraged members of the General Assembly to work together and embrace civility.